Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, welcome back to part 11 on how to make a 8x8 mini album. So in this uh, video we are going to um, decorate the last uh, page uh, on the back side and um, yeah, we can just get started. And you need to cut out a 4x4 and 4 pieces and then you're going to cut out a uh, 4 uh, one inch uh, square and uh, we are going to poke a hole here so then I just fold the copy paper here like so just to find the middle so if you now this is a bit important that you um, uh, glue it about straight on so then you can uh, cut out this little piece here and use uh, this as a mask so then you know where to place it so you just put this over your uh, black uh, cardstock and then you know this is going to be the lines here to meet up with this one and then when you have cut out uh, all four pieces and uh, glued this on then you're going to put them all together I can show you here already pre-made some so you put them on top of each other, so just line them up and you poke a hole in the middle here. So then you also can use uh, this piece here to poke a hole here. So see if I lined it up, yeah. So then you get them all the same. So I have already glued uh, on uh, all these uh, squares here and uh, then we need some uh, pattern paper on. And I already done that with uh, some of them. So then we can glue this on. And be sure to take your glue here all the way uh, to the edge. Because these are going to slide over each other. So. And then we can glue this on here. This side is from the 8x8 paper and I cut it slightly smaller. But you can cut it that for by four if you like to. I wanted to have a bit of a, a black eight edge here. So then uh, we need uh, something to um, stick this into and uh, it's going to be a flip uh, page and you cut it at eight and a half by eight and at the eight and a half side you score at three eight and a half inch and then you fold this in as we have done with the other ones. So both the lines here. So uh, here is uh, mine and here I already glued uh, down the squares. Here I cut out from the 6x6 paper pad uh, 4 inch squares and glued them on. So slightly smaller than sm uh, 4 inch. So you don't have to watch all the gluing. And I already glued down these images here. So uh, yeah, and then we I want some frame also on top here and also one here and this we need to glue all the way down or you can use maybe repositional glue until you get your picture inside so then we try to line it up in the middle so and this one as well So these images I glued all the way down, so can't slide anything behind there, but uh, this can be some journaling spots. So, and then we need to poke a hole in the middle here, I will just uh, check that uh, this will fit here. So, take care, I have some support here. So we'll see how this goes. Here about. It wasn't quite in the middle, so I take one more here. 
think that would work. So then, again, and I think when these are so tight they are going to slide over each other. So I cut out some squares here from some thin uh, chipboard, about half inch, and uh, took my crocodile and made a hole in the uh, middle. So we can line this up where we want them now. And, uh, here and here. This on the top, this is in second, and this, and this. So then we can start. Um, right there, I just have a brad and take one behind. So we will see how this works. And this behind again, just so it builds up a bit here. So one of these behind again. This, this, so you need a long brad here. I think I used one from Tim Holtz here. So could have been <laughs> longer also. So it's a bit uh, too tight here to get it through. I think I skipped the last one. So we have something to glue it on the back here. So now we try how this works. So then we take it through this hole here. I think I need to make it a bit bigger. I've placed the two magnets uh, here behind and I, uh, I'm running out of my uh, 10 millimeters, so these are 12 but uh, I think that's uh, just fine and it will be stronger. So then we can start uh, decorating this back side and if you like you could have taken some uh, magnets uh, behind here on the back side here and here so they won't uh, slip so easy but I don't uh, bother about that. So we can decorate that uh, after maybe. So. so I changed my mind because I need to get rid of uh, some of the things here uh, for the other stuff. So <laughs> we will uh, decorate on the front. So here we can start on the, here I already uh, glued down um, this uh, white uh, spider web <laughs> from diamonds and dice and also some small spiders here. And uh, then I think I will have uh, maybe 34 and this uh, flower on the top here, 31 I mean. <laughs> so this I will glue all the way down. So. Maybe we could make it as uh, 13. I think I do that <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> so. Sure how this 
will work when we slide this over. We try. So now we'll glue it just in this sense, and if it doesn't work, I will glue it all the way down. So that now this must not go over the edge on top here, so we are going to cut it uh, off here in the bottom. And this uh, tree is also from Diamond Dice. And uh, this here can go over the tree. It looks like a tree on the top on our head. But now it was a bit too high, so I think I will uh, cut off a bit of our here, of the tree here, over our here. See how that works. I think I will cut it all off and then uh, I'll be back. So I think so we'll glue around the side and a bit on the bottom here. as well. That also will make it stick here, so I'll just leave that for a moment and start on the other side and see what we are going to do here. If this will stick to each other, I will glue it all down. But I think maybe it will work since we have built it up a bit in the center here. So. And this is cut out from an uh, 8x8 uh, cover. some flowers. up again. So I've cut out this from the 8x8 and backed it with uh, some black paper. Let's see when we take this inside now. How it looks. So I think I will glue on some leaves here. So 
glue my hand down on the S. If we manage, I should have taken some acetate inside here. So, and also this leaf here on the left branch behind. Different up a bit more. So then I can cut off the rest here. something in the middle and maybe a spider here. So this will just be a decorative uh, page. Can slide a photo behind here if you like to. So and then I want uh, to cover up this uh, brad here, so we could uh, just use some green paper, but I think I will take this. And then I only will glue around this brad here, so it will spin. So now I need to hold <laughs> this a bit, so then I will be back. So now I glued it down, I had to work a bit uh, with it because it's bulky on the top here, but I think it works. And I also have a couple of owls I want on top here, the flowers here. So, and I uh, also have something here we can maybe decorate a bit with. Let's see when we put this. So need to be worked a bit, but I think I just let it stand up a bit. So um, yeah, not sure about this. I think I'll leave it. Yeah, I'll leave it like so. So then we can start decorating in the back. But first, we can see how this uh, works. So if you lift it up a bit, so then it works uh, just fine. So it's uh, dimensional under here so you can lift it so then you can have different spots showing up. So yeah. So then I will be back and we can decorate the back side. So we can start here with uh, making a heart. And uh, this is heart is uh, made by uh, just made my own <laughs> pattern with it, and it's uh, three this way and three and a quarter this way, and then you fold the paper in two, and uh, if you have a die you can use that, or uh, then I go all the way, try it at all, <laughs> and start here maybe. This was, I was uh, first uh, thinking of having it just like so, but um, uh, then I didn't have not enough of this paper here, so then I had to split it in two. So I think that will just make it a bit fun, so it can maybe create a more uh, shape on it here, so it's not even on both uh, sides. So. 
so. And uh, then you just uh, start drawing a S form line. About so. So this was a bit too large, so just work a bit with it. And I also went a bit too long in here, I see. Could have saved a bit more here. So, but you see the shape of it. So, yeah. And then we are going to have some brads here on the top. So we line them up on a black piece of paper. So, oops. And uh, I just eyeball. And here are from Graphic 45. So, and then we try to hold it uh, here. So here you can draw a, a mark around if you find that easier. Or you can just hold it together and cut it out. So try that and see. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We do as good as we can, and that's good enough. heart will open like so. So here you can write a secret message inside or anything. So okay, maybe you take uh, this here maybe you wear you can put that inside. And maybe a little flower. cut off from something on the bottom here. So. But maybe not because here it's a black line showing up so then I do have to cut it in an angle first. See if I can be a bit lucky here. This is finished, and uh, here I have the eight by eight paper, and uh, here I um, take a border from a twelve by twelve paper. It was the front paper, and it's not long enough, so I had to put in some pieces here. So this I showed in a previous uh, episode how to cut the corners here. So I won't show that again. So and again, uh, Tim holds three. So line it up here and this is uh, from 8 by 8 I think so here about I think I want it to go yeah. so a bit on the sides here We want to have something behind here. Okay, I think I take her all the way down. And 
this is also from the 8x8 paper, front paper. So, from uh, there we cut uh, the frame for one of the tags. And I also placed a little butterfly in there, here, here. So, we can take the flowers on here. from the 12 by 12 paper and it looked like a heart and that's why I wanted the heart to go inside. So let's see how we can color it because I want it to go a bit far down so take some color here on the bottom here and place it inside so I'm sure it will be room for it. So I also want this to go on top here. I cut up from the 12 by 12 paper. So we can put that down. So. And now we can glue this on the back side of the flap. flying away. So I'm sure I get it straight here. So yeah. So then we can glue this flap on here side of this page. So. I think I need this to go down so I can see. some magnets inside here so uh, I just placed the magnets here and I'll place some tape here and hopefully it will fit see that goes so then we can start to decorate uh, this last piece here so here I already have glued some uh, 8 by 8 paper down and uh, the spider uh, web here from uh, Diamond Eyes again and I also want uh, pets here and this is also glued together two of the Tim Holtz seats on the back so I think I will uh, decorate this maybe a bit before I glue it down maybe easier <laughs> we try so I glue it all down here behind here as well. This I think I cut off from the sticker sheet and backed it with a black paper. So. And uh, here I also have uh, from the sticker sheet. I didn't pack it with any black paper, it went uh, great to cut it out as it was. So. Just to get some smaller flowers. So, so then we can 
can glue it down. And here I haven't uh, taken any hinges, I don't want to build it up too much here. But I made uh, two tags here, and uh, this measure six, I think, with a green. Yeah, six by two and three, eight, and backed on some black paper. And uh, this is also from the sticker sheet that I backed with black paper and glued on top. And uh, this is both from the 12 by 12 paper. And I think if you use black back on here, it, you will have enough uh, for the uh, pages who uh, was flipping out where I said uh, I took some extra papers. So uh, if you um, use that there, you will have enough there. So, yeah. So I will put them inside while I'm gluing this down, but maybe I will take this tree and position that uh, first, Tim Holtz tree. Again, I will just go a little bit on the top here. I cut out some bats and do it behind. So, can we see where we want this to go? Yeah, now it's going over the spider web. So, I think I need some acetate again. Inside, so I'm sure it's enough room for it. I'll take off this extra glue here. So. A bit more down, and not so far down that we go a little bit up. on this side here, so we will try how that looks. Maybe it's too much, but also a bit plain there, <laughs> so I think I will glue it down. And here I placed a flower left over I had. So I take it all the way to the edge of this frame here. Scarecrows here. Maybe we can put that in that place here. So I think I will put this scarecrow on top here. You yeah, see, it wasn't all the way going down. So. Spider I backed with a black paper just to make it show more up because green on green <laughs> doesn't show up. So we'll go do that on the side here. This color a bit in this uh, side here. I think I glue it on top here. So then I think uh, these pages are ready and to be glued. Uh, to the other pages. So this was the last one. So. And I've taken some square tape on here. Ready. So. And again we try to line 
line it up here. I think I need to do uh, off camera. You have seen it's uh, exactly the same as the other one, but I need to have it so close up and I can't uh, uh, fold this uh, out so uh, then you all only will see my hair. So, I see I, this must have taken a bit too large, so that we just can cut off. Snip it off. So, so now you can see how large uh, the album is here. So then we can um, take some uh, tape over here. But I think I will pull out uh, the tags here, so we don't uh, glue them fast into um, tape on the back. So then I have taken it out. So then we can start to take some glue on here. And then we need uh, to measure about, uh, you can see where it's the uh, smallest here, here maybe, just to drag it into each other. So, and that's uh, three and at one eighth. So, then I mod three and a quarter it is. So then we take some tape over here. So I'm sorry if I was out of frame, but it's here, three and a quarter. So then I go up on the other side and I try to hold it in place so it will be three and a quarter here as well. So. continue taking a tape over uh, all this way and also some this way so uh, for the binding here so we can snip this and uh, now it's uh, pretty thick this album and uh, I've uh, struggled a bit when I build up the pages uh, uh, so much as I do I really enjoy doing it but uh, then I get into trouble sometimes it are standing out when you're flipping the pages. So I've been thinking a bit about uh, how I can s solve that problem. So we can maybe take it to the middle part here. Let's see. If you see now on the side here it builds up in the middle. So in order to get them to uh, fold over this way nice then we need to have a spine that goes like so. But then <laughs> the middle pages will stand out. So what I've been uh, thinking about uh, was playing yesterday evening a bit with uh, sort of this type of binding to the spine. So I think I will try that and here I scored it like so and this is one only one. So I will figure out how to do that and uh, in the next part I will uh, show you how it uh, goes. And um, then we also will make the cover for it. And I also think we um, need to have some uh, pullouts for the tags here. So, um, yeah. So then I will be back with the cover in the next episode. And uh, 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 if you have any questions, please look below the video. There you will find all the information. So take care and have fun creating. Bye-bye.